If you are in debt, the good news is there is no debtor's prison. But there are collectors and creditors who try to put you in prison through incessant calls, threats, and cyberbullying tactics. Many of these are in violation of the debt collection laws, which are on the books both federally and provincially and through each state. You only need to turn on your television to see how stable, or rather not, the economy has been since 2009. Recovery has been better in some centers, but that doesn't mean all of a sudden everyone is on easy street. In fact, the average personal debt in Canada is over $100,000. No wonder the collections industry is on the rise. Those companies seem to have enjoyed a healthy incline at the expense of others' misfortune. It may be easy to judge those who have fallen through the credit abyss, but most people are just one paycheck away from the homeless shelter. An injury, industry downslide, job loss, health issue, natural disaster, anything can turn even the most financially secure to Collectionville. If you are in collections and bearing through excessive harassing telephone calls or have discovered that your creditor is posting your said debt all over the internet and trolling your Facebook and LinkedIn connections, check online for debt collection violations in your jurisdiction. If it is a collections agency doing the deed, there is a good chance you can cite the violation to the person acting it out and stop the behavior right there. If not, there are reporting options. Most of the collection rules apply both sides of the border and from state to state, province to province. They, there may be additional statutes listed in specific jurisdictions, so Google debt collection laws or prohibited collector creditor practices in your area.